to hate this but I have to do a voiceover because I did this video and then when I went back to listen to it there was no audio um, so here we go this is for Cancer Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter signs and this is for mid-May <clears throat> and we are gonna go ahead and do um, a Celtic cross here okay guys see what energy we get for you guys for mid-May and that is the energy that's around you and that's what's crossing you. Let's see. The underlying issue is here. The recent past. What's crowning you there? What's coming in for you? How you guys are seeing this situation? What's the influence here? Your hopes or fears is there. And this is the overall, okay? We're going to go ahead and see what's going on around you. I can get it up there. And we have the Queen of Wands energy, okay? If this is not an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius individual, this is somebody who is very confident. This is somebody who is, um, they take care of the people that they hold near and dear, Okay, and this person juggles a lot. I feel not juggling people, but they juggle tasks. Okay, they take on things. They're very energetic, um, very confident uh, person here. So I feel like you guys are exuding this confidence currently. Okay, very good energy. Now what's crossing you is the magician, and this is Virgo, Gemini, um, Aquarius, Scorpio energy here, but I feel like there's somebody that feels challenged in this situation, okay? Almost feels like um, they're in competition, okay? Like, like you guys are just, um, they can't get through. But they're trying to make something happen with you guys, but feeling they're feeling like um, they're doing everything in their power to get through and you are not phased here. And I'm sensing that there's somebody around you that's trying to make some shit happen with you guys and either you're oblivious to it or you just don't give a shit. One of the two. It's like, you know, this person is trying, um, but... Uh, I feel like your focus is not on this individual currently, okay? It's what I'm getting here. They're trying to manifest a relationship with you, but it's not really happening. Now, the underlying issue there is a nine of wands energy. And if you can see, that person is like, they've built like a little prison around themselves. Nobody can get in and nobody can get out. Okay. Um, and this is, this person is, is like untouchable. So what I'm getting here is that somebody feels, um, the challenge of the other person not really allowing them to like break their walls down. Okay. Like the other person is not willing to, to try anymore not willing to put the effort in, like they are wanting to function on their own accord in this situation, okay? So I'm definitely getting that, that Sagittarian energy there. Now, again, it could be a Sagittarius person that you're dealing with, but um, I'm feeling more so that this is your energy. You guys could be like a uh, Cancer Leo cusp, or, you know, you just have a lot of fire possibly in your chart. Now, how you're viewing the situation, here we go with the Leo card, the Six of Wands here, okay? Y you feel successful. Um, you feel recognized. You feel achieved. Uh, I feel like you guys are exuding this confidence in this situation because not only are you recognized for um, your your good looks possibly, but you're recognized for your efforts. You're recognized for the things that you do um, for other people. And I feel like this person feels like you are blocking them. As you see, I did with a little X sign, like, like you just got it going on that you're not phased by whatever it is that they're trying to do behind the scenes. 
I do kind of feel like this person is doing something behind the scenes, whether it's checking you out, um, asking people about you. Um, it, this person is really trying to get through to you. OK, they're really trying to manifest something with you. I feel like they um, they feel like you may be dating even. OK, now in the recent past, we have the sun, another card of Leo. OK, I feel like you guys are self-aware. I feel like you're happy. You're happy. Um, and I feel like just recently you've come to this point where um, you don't really need anyone. Everybody needs somebody, but I'm feeling like you don't need anyone to feel complete or to feel um, happiness. Nobody defines your happiness because in order to be the queen of wands and sit there like, um, you know, you got all these things going around you. You know, this person is probably, you know, doing this or doing that, trying to to contact you even. Um, you've got to have a certain self-confidence to be able to to do so. Okay, now what's crowning you is a Ten of Pentacles. Um, and this is you guys saying, okay, um, you're either going to bring in, come with what I need, match me, or you can stay your ass on the other side of that fence, basically. Okay, I feel like in your head, it's all about um, only allowing things and people into your life that you feel are substantial. Okay, you're not with that tomfoolery. You're not with the 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 fakeness you're not with the games or whatever you're all about building um the truly solid foundations um establishing a legacy for yourself establishing real commitment for yourself and blocking out people who try to manipulate um their way into your life is what i'm getting here okay now that magician I feel like this person has been able to use some some tricks on you before that may have worked only because you allowed them to work, okay? Now, what's coming in for you guys is a four of wands. This is complete um, happiness and stability. Another fire card. This is Aries energy here, okay? I feel like there is a relationship coming your way. I feel like there's definitely somebody that wants to um, be happy with you, commit to you. Even here, um, a very strong relationship is around you uh, mid-month here, okay? Um, somebody sees utter happiness with you. I feel you have strong uh, fire energy in your chart, okay? Now, the influence here is the Queen of Swords. Now, with the Queen of Swords energy, I see this as you guys. And I see you as being very, very strong, being very logical, um, but also, you know, been through some some very life changing experiences that may have not really hardened you. But you guys are no longer wearing your heart on your sleeve, I feel. OK, so. um what I want you to do, though, and this is just for me to you, is, you know, everybody should have standards. And I feel like your standards are definitely in place. I just don't want them to be so, so high to where, um, you know, somebody is not able to reach them to get through to you. OK, um, and I because I don't see any cups current excuse me, currently here. I feel like you're more logical. I feel like you're more about, um, you know, show me what you got. You know, you're, you're that person right now. Okay. Because I feel like, you know, you have worn your heart in your sleep before and it possibly, um, it didn't turn out the way that you guys possibly wanted it to. Um, so I just want you to be mindful of that and not, you know, turn your back on something that could definitely be, uh, good for you in this situation. Okay. Because the queen of swords, you know, she's, she's about her business. She's all about her business. She's not with the bullshit and she is more than willing 
and able to cut shit out that is not serving her. Okay. Um, but sometimes she can be, you know, a little overzealous and, you know, just not really mean, but, you know, just, just not with the bullshit. Okay. So your hopes or fears, the seven of cups here. Um, I, I feel like your fear is that you don't want your emotions to just completely take control of you as they may have before. Okay. You don't want to get lost in that. But I also feel like your hope, on the other hand, is that you will have options, which I see that you definitely do. I see that there's somebody definitely interested in you. Okay. Now, the outcome here, the overall, is a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy is there. I feel like there's somebody definitely taking notice of you. Um, there is definitely somebody that wants to be there for you, um, wants a relationship with you. They they see the Ten of Pentacles with you. They see the Four of Wands with you. They see you as the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, a no-nonsense, active, energetic, beautiful, confident person. Okay? They see the sun in you. But they also feel like they may have a hard time getting through to you guys because you have like this wall up is what they see. Though. That's their perception. That's not necessarily the way it is. I think you're just you're exuding like, you know, this really strong um, aura right now. OK, so we have Virgo, uh, Capricorn, Taurus. We have Scorpio energy here. We have Aquarius, Gemini energy here. Leo, Aries is strong. Um, maybe Libra and.